So it's a no-brainer that getting your homework done as fast as possible and as efficiently as possible is a very important attribute to have because as a student, this means that you can get to the things that actually matter to you a whole lot faster. So that being said, let's just get right into these tips. Now the first tip I'd recommend is to take note and to take track of all of the assignments that you are going to have for homework throughout the day. So whether this is in between classes, during classes, or right when your teacher gives you a homework assignment, you should be tracking it down to basically see by the end of the day what you have to do. And this is going to make it a whole lot easier and it's going to basically decrease the resistance that you have between starting your homework or not starting your homework when you get home. Because if you already take note of all the assignments from that day, then you're going to be able to be like, oh, this is what I have to do along with all these other things. And a common thing that stops us with getting our homework done is we either underestimate or we overestimate the work that we actually have to do. So taking note of it during school, this is going to allow you to actually have a better understanding of, oh yeah, I should spend this much time on my homework because I know that I have, let's say, four assignments to do, as opposed to being like, oh, I don't have that much, or oh, I have so much that I don't even want to start yet. And this brings me on to my next point, which is to actually evaluate every single assignment that you're going to have to do. And to do this, you don't really have to spend a ton of time. I just want you to go over all of the assignments that you have to do for roughly 10 minutes. So if you're able to do this sometime during school, this is going to be the most ideal, but it's also very important to, if you don't have that time, to get it done after school as well. So. What this basically means is, let's say you have homework for biology, math, uh, and history, okay? We'll keep it easy, and I know you probably have more, but this is just a quick example. Let's say you got these three classes. The procrastinator would look at these three and say, oh yeah, history is easy, math is gonna be nah, not too bad, and biology is gonna take a while. Now, little do they know, if they actually looked into it, two of these assignments would be extremely hard, and then one would be very quick. And had they actually known this, they would have been able to start it faster because they would be like, oh yeah, I need to dedicate more of my time to doing it, as opposed to before underestimating the actual amount of time that they need to put into it. So it's very crucial to actually open up the assignment, to look into the packet, just briefly. It doesn't need to be a whole lot, you know, of your time, but as long as you're getting the amount of time that can help you understand the actual length that it will take and on top of that the actual steps that you need to take to get it done then this is going to make it a whole lot easier when you get home to just be like all right this is what i have to do so let's get it done and again this is such a crucial part because most people when they get home they'll say oh yeah like i don't even want to look into what i have to do and we put it off because we think it's too hard or too easy do not underestimate it do not overestimate it fairly estimate it by looking into it beforehand this next tip is a pretty simple one, but I just wanna put it here because I think it's very important, and that is to actually lock in when you are getting your homework done. And this can actually be a very difficult thing, and arguably it's the hardest thing of all these tips so far, because it's something that oftentimes we can't even control because of our setting. We just have all these distractions around us that make it pretty much impossible to concentrate on our work. So there's various things that you can actually do to limit these distractions and make it easier to pay attention to your homework. One of these being, you know, putting your phone off to the side. You could even turn it off completely or you could delete like all your social media, at least just in the time while you're doing your homework if you just wanna make like a small kind of step initially towards deleting it fully uh, once and for all. Um, that could be more of an extreme thing so you don't have to do that. That's why I'd also just say putting your phone off in another room, that could be very effective. But the most important thing is just getting into that cycle where you're not even really thinking about doing the homework. It's just kind of like in that rhythm, if that makes sense. A quick tip that I'd give for that specifically is to listen to some sort of music, not really something with words in it, maybe not even instrumentals. Instrumentals can definitely be very good, but as of recently, I've actually tried listening to just like black noise and just like nature sounds. And I'd say that that really helps me stay focused and stay calm um, and kind of get into that rhythm a whole lot faster. Um, so definitely try that out if uh, that seems fit for you. The next tip is to utilize software and websites to make your homework easier on yourself. And there's so many that I probably can't even go all into it in this video specifically. Uh, let me know if you'd want me to do that in a future video. But a quick one I can just give you just to get an idea of what I'm talking about is something like ChatGPT. And there's a bunch of different ones that are coming out uh, by the day. You have ones from Bing. You have Write Sonic, which is a good one for current data. These sites, uh, you know, I don't know if I can get in trouble for, for recommending this in particular, but at least sparking an idea from it, right? Or to get an understanding of a certain topic. If you get good at, you know, searching the right kinds of things, then ChatGPT and the things that are similar to it, they're going to give you a very, very good output that can ultimately help speed up 
the process of getting homework done or if you're studying for something to actually understand the concept a whole lot faster instead of having to look into all these various sources one by one. So utilize your resources, figure out different softwares, different apps to help get you into this routine of optimizing your homework every single time. And of course, procrastination is the leading reason behind why we put our assignments off to the side or why we don't get them done on time. But I'd also say that our energy levels and staying awake is another key thing because when you get back from school or when it's the weekend time and you need to do homework, you need to make sure that you are actually staying awake and energized to get that assignment done or to get that whole lot of assignments done. So with that being said, I recommend checking out this video because I go fully in depth in how to stay energized throughout the day. With that being said, I'll see you over there. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you. Peace.